Hello and welcome back to Newsman. It's the 13th of December 2013. My name's Lumen and right now it's time for a quick general gaming news update. In this episode we're having a brief look at the latest Hearthstone beta update, the start of the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls beta, what's been going on with Starbound over the last week or so, we finally have a release date for the Elder Scrolls Online along with a new trailer, the engineer class in Wildstar has been revealed and finally yet more Fallout 4 rumors and leaks that are apparently far more credible than the previous batch. All of that and more, starting with Hearthstone. The big ranked player update for Hearthstone teased a little while back has finally arrived. This patch brought with it a lot of fun and useful features, additions and fixes including the ability to abandon and replace one quest per day, animations for the golden cards, a slightly better looking menu, the ability to play all the way up to 12 wins in the arena, a completely new ranked play system and more. A couple of cards were also rebalanced or changed a little and those are Unleash the Hounds, Starving Buzzard, Mind Control, Flame Imp, Argent Commander and Shattered Sun Cleric. I've got a video up covering a lot of it in great detail if you're interested in the specifics. You can find it linked on your screens right to heck now and you can give the full patch notes a peek below. In more Blizzard related news, the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls closed beta has begun. Invitations to this next phase of the public test are now being delivered to Nephilim worldwide. That said, I guess it is in fact time to check those Battle.net accounts to see if you got in. If you are one of the lucky few to get in and need help setting the beta up, the blog post on the official site has you covered with installation and play instructions, character copy information, a list of frequently asked questions and more. This phase of testing will, as with the friends and family phase, contain all the new game modes, all of Act 5 minus the end boss and a couple of cutscenes here and there, the Crusader class and a whole lot more. Well worth having a look at if you don't mind a few spoilers. But that's it. Good luck and happy hunting for both beta access and beasties. Next we're talking Starbound. The Starbound beta is still being patched fast and furiously almost every single day. That said, covering all the patch notes here would be a mammoth and ludicrous task that I'm most definitely not up for at the moment. Instead, I will just highlight a few of the bigger goodies that have been added or changed since last week. To name a few, characters and worlds were wiped, the entire damage system has been redone and redesigned to be easier to understand and slightly more viable in the long term. Monsters now no longer have a level and are marked as easy, medium and hard, the AI on monsters has been significantly improved. A new baby monster variant is now in the game, an early version of pet capturing is live, grappling hooks were added, you can now craft lanterns and backpack lanterns, you are now invincible on your own ship, falling damage has been nerfed and much, much, much more. They really are working overtime to make the perfect game and I for one totally appreciate it. Read all about the recent patches below and enjoy the constantly updated Starbound if you're playing it. Now. On to ESO. A new trailer for the Elder Scrolls Online titled War in Cyrodiil has been released and with it we've been told that the Elder Scrolls Online will arrive worldwide for PC and Mac players on April the 4th 2014. Those planning on playing on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One will have to wait until June of 2014. The trailer itself looked kind of decent. Nothing super amazing, but it is great to finally know when to expect the game. Watch the full thing right here on YouTube and get ready. I guess, even if it is a few months out, yes, get ready. Moving on, here's the final Wildstar class, the Engineer. I'm really liking the look of this one. This is a ranged class, but it's also a tank. It fires heavy experimental weapons, it uses bot pets, and it has access to an exosuit. It's probably going to be the class that I try first when I finally get in. On that note, the NDA for the first couple of levels of the game has been dropped for select media personalities and outlets as well. I'm not too sure how exactly that's going to work, but hey, it'll be great to finally see some proper videos and streams of the game. Finally, before this malls, Fallout 4 is real. That's what's being said now. The guys and girls over at Kotaku got their hands on some leaked documents that let us know that Bethesda are looking for voice actors for their post-apocalyptic RPG and that Fallout 4 is in fact going to be set in Boston. The documents reveal the scripts for the introduction of the game and a mission of sorts that takes place in an abandoned museum. So while the details and facts about the actual game itself are pretty thin at the moment, there is at least proper proof that the game is being worked on. For real this time. And that's good enough for me. If a lot of you would like to confirm this for yourselves, you can find those links below. 
With that done though, let's move on to the smalls. First up, watch Total Biscuit's latest content patch. It's all about the YouTube copyright drama going around at the moment and it is incredibly informative. Then the first Steam machines are being sent out today and apparently Steam OS is going to launch as well. I'm obviously keen to see how that's going to turn out. GOG.com are having a DRM free winter sale and you can watch a video announcing it right here on YouTube. They've also announced a new worldwide money back guarantee which is kind of impressive and then in more GOG news Fallout, Fallout 2 and Fallout Tactics are currently free on their site. Completely free. You can just log in and claim those games for yourself. Do it. A couple more games have been added to the latest Humble Bundle, so it's looking even more impressive now. Doom is 20 years old. Double Fine have announced their new game, which is called Hack and Slash. Obsidian's Project Eternity is now called Pillars of Eternity, and a gameplay teaser has been released that's looking incredibly good. Elite Dangerous has entered Alpha. Fable Anniversary is releasing on February the 4th of 2014. There's an interesting No Man's Sky first look and interview over on the Rev3 Games channel. The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 1's trailer has been released and it is looking incredibly grim. Guild Wars 2's Very Merry Winter's Day update has been detailed and it is in fact live right now. Dota 2's Wraith Knight has been announced. EVE Online now has Twitch integration. The Blizzard.tv domain has been acquired by the Blizzard legal team. There's yet another Puzzles and Hearthstone post up over on the official site. Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls release date is rumored to be in March of 2014. Read all about the latest Reaper of Souls friends and family beta patch. This one included a character wipe. The World of Warcraft Battle.net shop is now live in game. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is now available on iOS. And finally, Angry Birds Go is now also available on iOS. That is unfortunately going to be it for this episode. You can check the description below this video for all the links that I mentioned and a whole lot more. It really is worth it. There's a lot of good stuff down there. You can check back here soon for more. Give this video a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly though, happy Fallout 4 for real this time. Happy that.